All right, so I'm down in Ridgecrest, and uh, this Bronco is pretty, pretty damn unique, and I think you guys will like this one. Now, what, what's your name? Uh, Sean. Sean, what yep. do we got here? So we got 95 Ford Bronco. but a threat, beams, cut, turn, four and a half inch over, Hamburg rear housing to match, everything is nine inches wider. Um, three, five, five, two bypasses, two, five coil overs on all, all four corners. That's it? I see a locking hub. A locking hub, she's still four wheel drive. So still four wheel drive. Still four wheel drive. All right. Locking hubs front and then locking hubs in the rear. We use a hub for our cantilever rear suspension to pivot off of, and that locks and unlocks your sway bar. There's a sway bar right to left, and you can unlock your hubs, that unlocks your sway bar. So, pretty kind of ingen in ingenious, you know? That's Aaron Cooper, Fubazi, it's all him. I cannot take credit for that. So what, what's the benefit of having suspension set up like this? Because I personally have not seen anything like this. If you, I don't know if you can see through the back windows, it's not full good, but I have a full-size rear seat. So the shocks, the shock towers end right here. So the shocks, if you peek up in there, they run out the back. And so it gives us that full-size rear seat with full-on four-link suspension. And the other thing it does, it loads the rear of the chassis. You load the rear of the chassis, the front end likes to just come up. And it just, she never, never knows dives. That's awesome. So I, I noticed you were talking earlier about uh, something in there that you're pretty <laughs> pretty proud of. The interior is far from done, but she's still a uh, good old manual five-speed. You've got a, there's three pedals down there and a big old shifter. Yeah, there is. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, stupid little things, still on seat sliders. Um, not, you know, obviously fabbed up seat sliders. Full size rear seat, five dudes, go cruise around, super comfortable. Um, we usually run a dual, dual rear uh, spares. I have one off right now. Um, we just need a tire, honestly. But uh, it just put all the weight in the back to get this thing to pop. 316 skid plate. I mean, if you zoom in here, He's crazy heavy. You can fit the whole car on the on the skid. It protects the stock fuel cell. 32 gallon, you know, stock Ford. So this thing is so clean. Yeah. Well, thank you. It's been a been a been a fun one. Me and my sons did the front end in our garage. Uh, gutted it. Did the whole front end. Had the back end started. Aaron took the back end over when he talked me to the cantilever. Did that, and then uh, him and I between we had the cage tacked in. He, he straightened the cage all up and finish the cage for us so it's caged bumper to bumper all that i can pop the front hood if you want to see that yeah let's see what this thing's powered by oh ain't much power <laughs> i'm gonna lose my bush i don't know super simple super clean just ford 351 nothing cool but simple simple tube layout simple shock mounts angles everything lays right this thing is awesome man i was just watching it from uh darren's JT and you're just ripping over the bumps, no problem. Well, sweet, thank you so much. No problem, thank you.